We've just seen an intense showdown between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin. Now, let's hear from the fighters and their teams. What a way to celebrate, right? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Thank you, Mauricio. We appreciate you. He's always waiting for that to set up the punch, and he caught him and he opened up and he saw the chance. So he went for it. Did you see it coming? Did you see the yeah, knockout? I, you know, like I said, you know, he's studying you, he's you know, waiting for the punch to, to land, and sooner or later it comes because he has power. Leo, there's been some talk of tanking Lomachenko in November. What would you make if that was to be the next fight? I think it's going to be a great fight because Lomachenko, he moves really good and he has, you know, a lot of skills and everything. So I think if Tank, tank doesn't catch him, uh, I think Lomachenko is going to be winning and take him. Do you, do you favour Tank in that fight? Would you favour Tank over Lomachenko? Yeah, I think so, yeah. You, you, you think Tank uh, just eventually catches him or he outboxes him? How does it? Mm, no, I think it's going to be hard because Lomachenko, he moves really good. He has the skills and everything. And, I think he could take a punch, but we'll, we'll see against Tank Davis if he could take his punch because Tank gets hard. Yeah. I, mean, I think that, you know, he did good. He fought his first, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he held his defense up pretty high, so he was able to maintain for a long time. But I think that whenever Tank was ready to close the gaps, he closed the gaps. Once he's seen his, once he's seen his, 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 his opponent wounded and down and out, he went in there and closed the show. What do you think about Tank's defense tonight against a very live opponent who uh, threw lots and lots of punches? I mean, I think that, you know, he kept a very high defense guard, you know. He didn't do much flipping to the side or dropping much, you know. He kept a very high defense guard, and, you know, it did good for the job that he was able to do tonight. Great fight, great fight. What do, what do you see uh, Tank going next? Oh, what's he going to do right now? I know. Got you, my man. Thank you. I seen him, my heart stopped. What you think about that knockout? The electric man, Javante Tank Davis. If you don't pay your bill, he cut it off. How many rounds of that fight did you see? Um, I think from the from the fourth round. Got it. Yeah, from the fourth round, uh, but he still he did his thing, you know. He the, the guy was strong. He he could take a punch and um, you know, but man, I mean, he did good, man. Did good. Do you think you should stay at 175 or do you think you should go back down to 168 for the Canelo fight? I think either either way, I think he's gonna be good, man. I think this was a good experience for him. It was a good fight. It was a it was a hard opponent, but. <laughs> Did you think Tank was at any point losing? Huh? Uh, I knew he had. Yeah. Wayne had a good fight though. For sure, for sure. They say Tank versus Loma next. What you think about that, Wallow? Oh, no, no, no. No? Yeah. I think it was a great yeah. fight. It was amazing. Why, why do you think he was so successful with setting that punch up, man? I ain't got. I'm not gonna fight him. I think you don't. I sleep you, bro. I sleep you, bro, nigga. I sleep you and your partner. I sleep all y'all, nigga. What the fuck you showed me? What you gave from that? What you gave from that? You showed me your stomach. Kevin with fight hype. Kenya, what you think about that knockout, man? Hey, man. Tank did what he was supposed to. Um, processed it from round one. Uh, he made a he made a counter punch a punch first. So. Somebody not comfortable doing what they're doing, and that's what you have, man. The end result. Like, yeah, no. Nah. Made him exert a lot of energy, made him keep moving his feet, made him uncomfortable, man. So, shout out to Tank, man. Did you ever doubt at any moment that Tank wasn't going to end up with that knockout or that maybe he was having a harder fight than what it, what it appeared to be? No, it wasn't a hard fight. I didn't see a hard fight at all from round one. So, the fight was a good, very, very, very good fight, a talented fight. But I just thought the experience factor of it with playing Tank's favor, just the.
Before immersing ourselves in the unfolding drama, let's take a step back. We're about to explore the detailed pre-fight predictions from various experts ahead of what promises to be an exhilarating showdown between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin. Strap in for an in-depth look at the insights and expectations surrounding this high-stakes bout. Duke McKenzie, the esteemed British former professional boxer and TV analyst, set the stage with his analysis of the impending clash. Expressing his thoughts before the match, McKenzie highlighted the caliber of both fighters, particularly emphasizing the formidable challenge facing Frank Martin against the highly regarded Gervonta Davis. If Frank Martin was fighting anybody else, Persia Lomachenko Lopez, whomever, I'd back in 100%. But unfortunately, he's challenging arguably the pound-for-pound -pound best, McKenzie remarked, underscoring Davis' status as a top-tier competitor in the lightweight division. McKenzie's confidence in Davis was palpable, predicting a victory for the undefeated Southpaw in the later rounds. Tank Davis has everything you could want or ask of a champion, he asserted. He's a classy, solid performer, more than ready for a world title shot. McKenzie's analysis framed Davis as an unstoppable force, capable of ending the fight decisively in his signature style. Sean Porter, known for his insightful commentary, added another layer to the pre-fight discourse. Reflecting on the significance of the match for both fighters, Porter anticipated a challenging encounter that would test their skills to the limit. This is the toughest fight for both of these guys, Porter noted, emphasizing the competitive nature of the bout. He envisioned Martin pushing Davis to new heights, describing the anticipated battle as akin to fast chess, where strategic moves would be pivotal. Porter's analysis extended to Martin's strategy, advising him to stay true to his strengths and instincts amidst the high-pressure environment. Be tough, be fast, be quick, be intuitive, Porter advised Martin, cautioning against doubt and hesitation. His insights underscored the psychological and tactical dimensions at play for both fighters as they prepared to face off in the ring. Leonard Eller, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, added his perspective, unequivocally predicting a knockout victory for Gravanta Davis. Tank Davis is a special fighter, Eller proclaimed, pointing to Davis' relentless pursuit of excellence in the division and beyond. Ellard's confidence in Davis' abilities resonated throughout his commentary, highlighting Davis' determination to prove himself as the best in the world. Analyst Diaz provided a contrasting view, acknowledging Davis' prowess while suggesting that Martin posed a formidable challenge, potentially making the fight closer than anticipated. Davis is one of the top pound-for-pound -pound guys, Diaz acknowledged, emphasizing Martin's underdog status as a well-kept secret in the competitive boxing landscape. Rich Murata offered a stark contrast in predictions, emphasizing Davis' exceptional skill set, power, and experience against Martin's relative lack thereof. Murata predicted a swift victory for Davis within five rounds, citing Davis' ability to capitalize on his opponent's vulnerabilities with precision and power. Jolie Mizone echoed Murata's sentiments, highlighting Martin's skills and strategy as pivotal factors in his potential to upset the odds against Davis. Martin has the talent and style to pull the upset, Missone asserted, urging Martin to leverage his boxing prowess effectively while avoiding Davis' lethal left hand. Camille Astep, promoter from Eye to the Tiger, acknowledged Davis' formidable power and defensive skills while cautioning that Martin's athleticism posed a unique challenge. Astep predicted a competitive fight, ultimately foreseeing Davis securing a knockout victory in the later rounds, bored by his ability to exploit openings and capitalize on strategic opportunities. Trainer Rudy Hernandez provided a nuanced perspective on the clash, acknowledging the talents of both fighters while predicting Davis' victory by knockout. Hernandez emphasized Davis' calculated approach and timing as crucial elements that could decide the outcome of the fight within eight rounds. Tony Sims and John Scully added further layers to the discussion, envisioning a competitive early phase before Davis asserted control in the later rounds. Sims predicted a late knockout victory for Davis underscoring Martin's speed and boxing skills as potential threats to Davis' dominance. Scully, meanwhile, viewed Martin as a formidable underdog capable of giving Davis a tough challenge throughout the fight, despite ultimately favoring Davis to win by decision. Trainer Mark Ramsey provided a contrasting view, recognizing Martin's talent while asserting Davis' ability to control all aspects of the fight. Ramsey predicted a TKO victory for Davis in the sixth round, citing Davis' mastery in the ring and Martin's relative inexperience at the elite level. The final press conference between Gervonta Davis and Frank Martin offered a glimpse into the fighters' mindsets ahead of the anticipated clash. Davis exhibited confidence, declaring his intention to dismantle Martin with precision and power. I'm going to break you up, 
Datus asserted, emphasizing his readiness to demonstrate his superiority in, in the ring. His words reflected the intensity and determination fueling his preparation for the upcoming bout. Davis also invited fans to witness what he promised would be a memorable event, highlighting the stacked undercard and his unwavering commitment to delivering a stellar performance. His confidence in his abilities and preparation underscored his status as a formidable force in the lightweight division. Frank Martin's demeanor hinted at a fighter prepared to challenge Davis' dominance. While Davis projected confidence, Martin appeared focused and composed, aware of the monumental task ahead of him. His measured responses and calm demeanor suggested a fighter intent on seizing the opportunity to make a statement on the big stage. As the fight approached, the narrative surrounding Gervonta Davis versus Frank Martin continued to evolve, shaped by the insights and predictions of boxing experts and commentators alike. Each perspective added depth to the anticipation surrounding the showdown, offering fans and analysts alike a comprehensive view of the factors at play leading up to the highly anticipated bout. A little bit. You know he, I mean, so. he was shaking, so you, you're seeing him move a little bit? You think he's yeah, a little he's bit apprehensive? Talking. Talking a little tough yesterday when I ain't come to the uh, the arrival, but today he's he's shaking up there talking. So I know that you know. Frank, how do you want him to respond to that? I'm scared, and I'm so scared. You know? It's gonna show. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's yeah, gonna show. I'm, I'm scared show. as hell. I know. I'm he scared a front runner. That's yeah. what he is. Yeah, that's front right. Runner. That's right. Uh. Tank, do you think your experience, because you have been main eventing pay-per-view after pay-per-view all over the United States and really making some, some huge gates, pay-per-views, et cetera, et cetera, that your experience is going to play a factor in this fight? Of course. Hell of no. course. Of course. Hell no. Of course. Don't worry about it. Here's Steve Saturday. <laughs> it ain't going to hit him yet. I'm telling you. It's going to hit him, though. It ain't going to sure. hit me. It's definitely, especially when I, when hey, I touch good. you. Hey, definitely, good over definitely here. when I touch you. We good over here. Hey, you gonna get touched too. So what did you if say? If you can, if you can touch me. What about if you could touch me, bro? <laughs> he remarked, "He's shaking up there. He was talking tough yesterday when it was just him. It's going to show he's a front runner." Davis observed Martin's nervous demeanor during the pre-fight events, suggesting that his bravado might falter once they entered the ring together. He's just worried about not getting knocked out. He's not worrying about winning. He's trying not to get knocked out, Davis quit, dismissing Martin's bravado. All that movement he has is just fake footwork, regular mediocre. Frank Martin exuded confidence in a final press conference before the fight, asserting his readiness to dominate the ring. Expressing gratitude for the opportunity, Martin issued a warning to Davis, claiming, he's never faced anyone like me. Looking ahead to fight night, Martin reiterated his prediction of victory over Travanta Davis, stating firmly, this can go down however he wants it to go down. If he acts up, like I've been saying, you're going to see Travanta Davis get knocked out. If he acts crazy, he's going to sleep. In a pre-fight press conference, Calvin Ford, Travanta Tank Davis's trainer, shared his perspective on the upcoming match against Frank Martin. Ford expressed his expectation for Martin to bring his best, emphasizing, I want Martin to put forth his best effort in the ring. <laughs> I want to be just like Tank. Because <laughs> we're going to put that work in. Dark. We've been friends for years. Not going to stop it. No, nah, we've been friends for years, but this clinic, this good. Hey, Martin, you know what I told you? Come with it, please, because I need that button push. I need you to push his. Calvin expressed, I want Frank to bring his A game because I need him to push that button. I know what he's capable of, but there's another level I haven't seen yet. Frank, please push that button. Calvin clarified that it's strictly about business, stating, Frank is in the way. You say, Kyle, when you say, uh, push them buttons, I'm gonna push every button that he got on his ass. Every he responded, Calvin's telling me to push those buttons. Well, I'm coming to push every button he's got. Get ready for a good fight. Let's do this. Martin made these remarks at the press conference, acknowledging the rigorous training regimes on both sides. He commented on his opponent's intense preparation, stating, he's been working his ass off because he knows what time it is. He's been grinding. We haven't seen too much of you, but it's because he knows this is real. Reflecting on his journey to this point, Martin expressed gratitude for his current position while staying focused on the upcoming challenge. He emphasized the importance of victory, saying, it's a blessing to be in this position but it won't get me until I get the win. I feel like I've worked for this, 
And that's why I'm here now. I have to get this win, and then it'll all hit me. Martin exuded confidence in his preparation and readiness for any challenge, stating assuredly, we're ready for whatever he's about to bring. We got his number. Unfazed by his opponent's strengths, Martin remained focused on executing his game plan, adding, I just have to go in there and fight my fight, be comfortable. Despite acknowledging his opponent's power, Martin emphasized his determination to secure the WBA strap and establish himself as a dominant force in the division, declaring, I'm near to get my hand raised and walk out with that WBA strap. There's going to be a new face in the seat, and it's going to be me. On a great show and a great performance, he's ready for this moment. He's been ready for this moment for a long time. He continued. I guarantee you that Frank is going to show everyone why he's the best 135-pounder in the world and the new WBA lightweight world champion. Spence declared with confidence that Martin will undoubtedly showcase his prowess in the ring. As the echoes of the final bell fade and the dust settles in the ring, it's time to reflect on the electrifying clash between Trevonta Davis and Frank Martin. From the intense build-up to the explosive exchanges, every moment was filled with anticipation and excitement. What's your take on this shout-out? Did it live up to the hype or were there surprises along the way? Share your thoughts and join the conversation as we dissect the epic battle between Davis and Martin.